Hey, Gabe Camarillo, Fox 26 Sports Reporter. Today's the last day of the transfer portal and Fresno State football had a good offseason. I'll explain why. First, with how they kept their star players, how they landed some good additions, and how they lost some guys, but why the losses aren't as big as the gains, I would say. First, who do they keep? Quarterback Mikey Keene. Last year, he was about one quarter away from throwing for 3,000 passing yards. You get to see him take another step in his second season as Fresno State starting quarterback. Malik Sherrod, almost a 1,000-yard rusher. Again, if not for an injury, he probably gets that number, and he's your more versatile weapon with receiving yards, with rushing yards, kick and punt returning. You kept him through two portal openings right you had one in the winter you had one this spring he doesn't leave and we'll go to why these guys don't leave in a little bit a uh, Jalen Moss a guy who had the best freshman receiving season since Devontae Adams and we did a story on him last weekend you kept all of your star offensive players you kept all of your offensive linemen all your star offensive linemen most save a vows there here's a list of Mountain West teams that lost key offensive guys okay San Jose State, they lost Quali Conley to Arizona in the portal. Boise State lost Taylor Green to Arkansas. San Diego State lost their best O-lineman to Washington. Colorado State kept all their offensive guys for the most part, but they lost some depth to Syracuse. So a lot of the Mountain West was hurt by the portal, whereas Fresno State, let's get into what they lost. Um, one full-time starter, Trey Watson at tight end, that's going to hurt, right, because you had him as a red zone option. But – you still have Moss and Josiah Freeman and Magdalena. And then how about we go to what they added in the portal? Shaden James, a thousand yard receiver from Idaho State. And how about an FCS All-American from Missouri State, Raylan Sharp? You add these receivers in the portal. Hey, I saw this tweet from the offensive coordinator, Pat McCann. It was of Thanos adding all of his Infinity Stones to his gauntlet. That's McCann right now. He added more to what was already a pretty deep arsenal of receivers. And I, I think that's going to make a lot of Fresno State fans happy because you're just going to make things easier for your quarterback, Mikey Keene. Uh, but speaking of Keene, speaking of Sherrod, speaking of Moss, why do these guys stay in the portal? We actually asked Jeff Tepper that very question at the spring preview. Most part are happy here. Um, there's a great culture, great environment. They've had a good amount of success. Uh, they're driven. They're very close, tight-knit group, you know, and so they want to compete together. And that was Jeff Tedford. You know, with it right now, um, we may look into the portal for players that maybe positions we need some help with. And, uh, you know, but it's we've got a couple more days of it right now. But as far as our team's concerned, you know, we feel good about and that was Tedford also talking about the additions. That was back on April 27th. He said they're pretty fun with where they're at, and then they added two receivers. And he also mentioned that he didn't feel they were going to lose anyone else between the spring preview and today, the last day of the portal. Sure enough, the only loss that I've written down was J.C. and Doss, a receiver. Now, now before the preview, they lost Kamari Munir-Bailey, who was a pass rusher for them. You got Corey Foreman all the way back in December who can fill in that role, and he looked pretty good at the preview, I should tell you. Uh, who else is there? Ray Scott, Logan Five. These guys came in for injuries, came in for a little bit of playing time last year, but it wasn't like last offseason where Edwin Williams left, where Bulla Schmidt left, a lot of these all-conference guys. Last year that left, these all-conference guys this year stayed. And so it's really good to see in this era of the transfer portal where – Everyone moves everywhere where the Mountain West seems like it loses its best players to the power four schools. It didn't happen at Fresno State, and you heard the reason why Jeff Tedford gave you. Tedford also told you that he didn't think anyone else was going to leave, let alone a guy like Jalen Moss, who is so confident in his abilities. Here's a little soundbite from Moss real quick before we leave. Like, no matter who's lining up against me, so, you know, I'm just going out there to win, and I'm bet on myself every time, so. A guy that's confident staying at Fresno State is a good thing for the Bulldogs.